Tirunelveli pronunciation, also known as Nellai and historically during British rule as Tinavali, is a major city in the South Indian state of Tamil Nadu. It is the administrative headquarters of the Tirunelveli district. It is the fifth largest municipal corporation in the state after Chennai, Coimbatore, Madurai and Trichy. Tirunelveli is located 700 kilometers 430 miles southwest of the state capital Chennai 58 kilometers 36 miles away from Thoothukudi and 73 kilometers from Kanyakumari Tirunelveli is an ancient city and is about 2000 years old Tirunelveli is the capital of Tirunelveli district the city is located on the west bank of the Thamirabarani river its twin Palayankottai is on the east bank Palayamkottai is called as the Oxford of the South India. It is a hub of many schools, colleges and many important government offices. Tirunelveli is believed to be an ancient settlement of great importance. It has been ruled at different times by the early Pandyas, the medieval and later Cholas, the later Pandyas, the Mabar, the Vijayanagar Empire, the Madurai Nayaks, Chanda Sahib, the Carnatic Kingdom and the British. The Polygar War, involving Palayakaras led by Virapandya Katabaman and forces of the British East India Company, was waged on the city's outskirts from 1797 to 1801. Tirunelveli has a number of historical monuments, the Swami Nelayapar Temple being the most prominent. Industries in Tirunelveli include administrative services, agricultural trading, tourism, banking, agricultural machinery, information technology and educational services. The city is an educational hub of southern India, with institutions such as Anna University Regional Campus, Tirunelveli, Tirunelveli Medical College, the Tirunelveli Veterinary College and Research Institution, Tirunelveli Law College, the Government College of Engineering and much more. Tirunelveli is administered by a municipal corporation, established on 1 June 1994 by the Municipal Corporation Act. The city covers an area of 189.9 square kilometers, 73.3 square miles, and had a population of 473,637 in 2011 excluding some municipal corporation region. The total population is 968,984. Tirunelveli is well connected by road and rail with the rest of Tamil Nadu and India. The nearest domestic airport is in Vegakulam location Thuthakudi Airport. The nearest international airports are Madurai International Airport and Tiruvananthapuram International Airport. The nearest seaport is Thuthakudi Port. Etymology Tirunelveli is one of the many temple towns in the state which is named after the grooves, clusters or forests dominated by a particular variety of a tree or shrub and the same variety of tree or shrub sheltering the presiding deity. The region is believed to have been covered with venue forest and hence called venuvanam. Tirunelveli was known in Sambandar's 7th century Seva canonical work Tavaram as Tirunelveli. Swami Nelayapar temple inscriptions indicate that Shiva as descended in the form of a hedge and roof to save the paddy crop of a devotee. In Hindu legend, the place was known as Venuvana forest of bamboo, due to the presence of bamboo in the temple under which the deity is believed to have appeared. The early Pandyas named the city than Pandya Nadu or than Pandya Simai, the Cholas Mudakanda Cholamandalam and the Nayaks Tirunelveli Simai, it was known as Tinevali by the British, and Tirunelveli after independence. The word Tirunelveli is derived from three Tamil words, Thiru, Nel and Veli, meaning, sacred paddy hedge. History The history of Tirunelveli was researched by Robert Caldwell 1814 a Christian missionary who visited the area. Tirunelveli was under the rule of Pandya kings as their secondary capital, Madurai was the empire's primary capital. The Pandya dynasty in the region dates to several centuries before the Christian era from inscriptions by Ashoka 304 BCE and mention in the Mahavamsa, the Brihat Samhita and the writings of Megasthenes 350 CE. The province came under the rule of Cholas under Rajendra Chola I in 1064 CE, however, it is unclear whether he conquered the region or obtained it voluntarily. 
Tirunelveli remained under control of the Cholas until the early 13th century, when the Second Pandyan Empire was established with Madurai as its capital. The Nelayapar Temple was the royal shrine of the later Pandyas during the 13th and 14th centuries, and the city benefited from dams constructed with royal patronage during the period. After the death of Kalasakara Pandyan (1268–1308), the region was occupied by Vijayangara rulers and Marava chieftains, Palayakars, or Palagars during the 16th century. The Maravars occupied the western foothills and the Telugas, and the Kanadigas settled in the black soil-rich eastern portion. Tirunelveli was the subsidiary capital of the Madurai Nayaks under Viswanatha Nayak (1529–64). The city was rebuilt about 1560. Inscriptions from the Nelayapar temple indicate generous contributions to the temple. Nayak rule ended in 1736, and the region was captured by Chanda Sahib (1740–1754), Arkat Nawab, and Muhammad Yusuf Khan (1725–1764) during the mid 18th century. In 1743, Nizam ul Mulk, lieutenant of the Deccan Plateau, displaced most of the Marathas from the region, and Tirunelveli came under the rule of the Nawabs of Arkat. The original power lay in the hands of the Polygars, who were originally military chiefs of the Nayaks. The city was the chief commercial town during the Nawab and Nayak era. The city was known as Nelai Chimai, with Chimai meaning, a developed foreign town. The Polygars built forts in the hills, had 30,000 troops and waged war among themselves. In 1755, the British government sent a mission under Major Haran and Mafas Khan which restored some order and bestowed the city to Mafas Khan. The Polygars waged war against Mafas Khan seven miles from Tirunelveli, but were defeated. The failure of Mafas Khan led the East India Company to send Muhammad Yusuf for help. Khan became ruler, rebelled in 1763 and was hanged in 1764. In 1758, British troops under Colonel Fullerton reduced the Polygar stronghold under Virapandia Katabaman. In 1797, the first Polygar War broke out between the British under Major Bannerman and the Polygars headed by Katabaman. Some Polygars, such as the head of Etiapuram, aided the British. Katabaman was defeated and hanged in his home province of Panchalaguruchi. Two years later, another rebellion became known as the Second Polygar War. Panchalankaruchi fell to the British after stiff resistance. The Carnatic region came under British rule following a treaty with the Nawab of Carnatic. After acquiring Tirunelveli from the Nawab of Arcot in 1801, the British anglicised its name to Tinavali and made it the headquarters of Tinelveli district. The administrative and military headquarters was located in Palayamkatai, anglicised as Palankata, from which attacks against the Polygars were launched. After independence both cities reverted to their original names, and Tirunelveli remained the capital of Tirunelveli district. A separate Thuthakudi district was split off in 1986. And now 30 April 2015 by BJP government it's known to be set as the one of the 100 smart cities of India. Geography and climate Tirunelveli is located at 8 degrees 43 minutes 41.82 seconds north 77 degrees 41 minutes 43.94 seconds east, and its average elevation is 47 metres 154 feet. It is located at the southernmost tip of the Deccan Plateau. The Tamirabharani River divides the city into the Tirunelveli Quarter and the Palayamkottai area. The river with its tributaries, such as the Chitter, is the major source of irrigation, and is fed by the northeast and southwest monsoons. The major lakes in the city are Nainar Lake and Udayarpeti Lake. The area around the Tamirabharani River and the Chitter has five streams, Kodagan, Palayan, Tirunelveli, Marador East and Marador West, and the Chitter feeds 15 other channels. The soil is friable, red and sandy, the climate of Tirunelveli is generally hot and humid. The average temperature during summer March to June ranges from 25 degrees Celsius 77 degrees Fahrenheit to 41 degrees Celsius 106 degrees Fahrenheit, and 18 degrees Celsius 64 degrees Fahrenheit to 29 degrees Celsius 84 degrees Fahrenheit during the rest of the year. The average annual rainfall is 680 mm 27 in. Maximum precipitation occurs during the northeast monsoon, October to December. 
Since the economy of the district is primarily based on agriculture, flooding of the Tamarabarani River or a fluctuation in monsoon rain has an immediate impact on the local economy. The primary crops grown in the region are paddy and cotton. Pineapples were introduced during the 16th century, chili and tobacco during the late 16th and potatoes during the early 17th centuries. The most common tree is the palmyra palm, a raw material in cottage industries. Other trees grown in the region are teak, wild jack, manjakadambu, ventik, vengai, pilamaruthu, karamaruthu and bamboo. Livestock of the city and district comprises cattle, buffalo, goats, sheep and other animals in smaller numbers. Demographics <inaudible> 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 According to 2011 census, Tiranel Veli had a population of 473,637 with a sex ratio of 1,027 females for every 1,000 males, much above the national average of 929. A total of 46,624 were under the age of 6, constituting 23,894 males and 22,730 females. Scheduled castes and scheduled tribes accounted for 13.17% and 0.32% of the population respectively. The average literacy of the city was 81.49%, compared to the national average of 72.99%. The city had a total of 120,466 households. There were a total of 182,471 workers, comprising 2,088 cultivators, 5,515 main agricultural laborers, 18,914 in household industries, 142,435 other workers, 13,519 marginal workers, 166 marginal cultivators, 913 marginal agricultural laborers, 1,828 marginal workers in household industries and 10,612 other marginal workers. According to provisional data from the 2011 census, the Tirunelveli urban agglomeration had a population of 498,984, with 246,710 males and 252,274 females. The overall sex ratio in the city was 1023, and the child sex ratio was 957. Tiranel Veli had a literacy rate of 91%, with male literacy 95% and female literacy 87%. A total of 42,756 of the city's population was under age 6. As per the religious census of 2011, Tirunelveli had 69.0% Hindus, 20.02% Muslims, 10.59% Christians, 0.01% Sikhs, 0.01% Buddhists, 0.02% Jains, and 0.35% following other religions. The city covers an area of 108.65 square kilometers 41.95 square miles the population density of the city in the 2001 census was 3781 persons per square kilometer compared with 2218 persons per square kilometer in 1971 hindus form the majority of the urban population followed by muslims and christians Tamil is the main language spoken in the city, but the use of English is relatively common. English is the medium of instruction in most educational institutions and offices in the service sector. The Tamil dialect spoken in this region is distinct, and is widely spoken throughout Tamil Nadu. Economy <inaudible> 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 Inscriptions from the 8th to the 14th centuries during the rule of the Pandyas, Cholas and later Tenkasi Pandyas indicate the growth of Tirunelveli as a center of economic growth which developed around the Nelayapar temple. The drier parts of the province also flourished during the rule of the Vijayanagara kings. From 1550 until the early modern era, migration to the city from other parts of the state was common and the urban regions became hubs of manufacturing and commerce. Tirunelveli was a strategic point, connecting the eastern and western parts of the peninsula, as well as a trading center. Records of sea and overland trade between 1700 and 1850 indicate close trading connections with Sri Lanka and Kerala. During the 1840s, cotton produced in the region was in demand for British mills. 
The chief exports during British rule were cotton, jaggery, chilies, tobacco, palmyra fiber, salt, dried saltwater fish and cattle. Occupations in Tirunelveli include service sector activities such as administration, agricultural trading, tourism, banking, agro-machinery, information technology and educational services. In 1991, the Tirunelveli region ranked second in the number of women workers. Service sectors such as tourism have developed, due to a growth in religious tourism. Tirunelveli has beedi and cement factories, tobacco companies, workshops for steel based products, and mills for cotton textiles, spinning, and weaving. There are also small scale industries, such as tanneries and brick kilns. The agricultural areas, hand woven clothes, and household industries contribute to the economic growth of the city. Food processing industries have developed since the late 1990s. At the district level, it is the foremost industrial segment. Industries involving rice making, blue jelly metal manufacturing, and gem power generating are located on the outskirts of the city. The major agricultural produce in the region is paddy and cotton. Beedi production during the 1990s earned an annual revenue of 190 billion rupees and a foreign exchange of 8 billion rupees across the three districts of Tirunelveli, Tirukkirappalli, and Velour. Tirunelveli is a major area for wind power generation. Most wind power generation units in Tamil Nadu are located in Tirunelveli and Kanyakumari districts. In 2005, they contributed 2,036.9 megawatts to the state power generation capacity. Many private, multinational wind companies are located on the outskirts of the city. In June 2007 the Tata Group signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the state government to open a titanium dioxide plant, with an estimated value of 25 billion rupees, in Tirunelveli district and Thuthakudi district. However, the state government put the project on hold after increasing protests against it. Topic. Administration and politics The Tirunelveli municipality was established in 1866 during British rule. It became a city municipal corporation in 1994, bringing the Palayamkatai and Melapalayam municipalities, the Thachinalar town panchayat and eleven other village panchayats within the city limits. The municipal corporation has five zones, Tirunelveli, Thachinalar, Palayamkatai, Petai and Melapalayam. The corporation has 55 wards, with an elected councillor for each ward. The corporation has six departments, general administration and personnel, engineering, revenue, public health, city planning and information technology it. All departments are under the control of a municipal commissioner. Legislative power is vested in a body of 55 members, one from each ward. The legislative body is headed by an elected chairperson, assisted by a deputy. Tirunelveli City is district headquarters for the Tirunelveli District. The city is part of the Tirunelveli Assembly constituency, electing a member to the Tamil Nadu Legislative Assembly every five years. Since the 1977 elections, the assembly seat was held by the Dravida Munnetra Kazhagam DMK for three terms following the 1989, 1996 and 2006 elections and the All India Anna Dravid Munnetra Kazhagam AIA DMK for six terms following the 1977, 1980, 1984, 1991, 2001 and 2011 elections. The current MLA is Nainar Najendran, ex-minister and a leader of AIADMK. Tirunelveli is a part of the Tirunelveli Lok Sabha constituency, with ten assembly constituencies: Tirunelveli, Vasudevanalar (SC), Sankarinkoil (SC), Kalayanalar, Nanganeri, Ambasamudram, Tenkasi, Alangulam, Radapuram, and Palayamkottai. The current member of parliament from the constituency is K R P. Prabakaran of the AIADMK. Since 1957, the Tirunelveli Parliament seat was held by the Indian National Congress for four terms, 1957–1961, 1962–67, 2004–09 and 2009–14. The Swantantra Party and the CPI won once each, from 1967–71 and 1971–77 respectively. The DMK won the seat twice, 1980–84 and 1996–98. 
The ADMK won the seat seven times, 1977–80, and 2014 elections. Order in the city is maintained by the Tirunelveli City Division of the Tamil Nadu Police, headed by a commissioner. There are units for prohibition enforcement, district crime, social justice and human rights, district crime records and a special branch operating at the district level, each headed by a deputy superintendent of police. Transport Tirunelveli has an extensive transport network and is well connected to other major cities by road, rail and air. The corporation maintains a total of 763.3 kilometers, 474.3 miles of roads. The city has 134.88 kilometers, 83.81 miles of concrete roads, 375.51 kilometers, 233.33 miles of BT roads, 94.291 kilometers, 58.590 miles of water-bound macadam roads, 76.31 kilometers, 47.42 miles of unpaved roads and 82.3 kilometers, 51.1 miles of highway 22 kilometers 14 miles of highway are maintained by the state highways department and 30 kilometers 19 miles by the national highways department in 1844 a bridge was built by colonel horsley across the tamirabarani river connecting tirunelveli to palayamkottai the city is located on nh7 150 kilometers 93 miles south of madurai and 91 kilometers 57 miles north of kanyakumari NH7A, an extension of NH7, connects Palayamkottai with Tuticorin port. Tirunelveli is also connected by major highways to Kolam, Tirushandur, Rajapalayam, Sankarankovil, Ambasamudram, and Nazareth. The main bus stand, popularly known as the New Bus Stand, opened in 2003, is located in Vainthankulam and there is regular bus service to and from the city. Other bus stands for intracity service are the Junction and Pele bus stands. The Tamil Nadu State Transport Corporation has daily service to a number of cities, and the corporation operates a computerized reservation center in the main bus stand. It also operates local buses serving the city and neighboring villages. The State Express Transport Corporation has intercity service to Bangalore, Chennai, Kanyakumari, and other cities. Tirunelveli Junction Railway Station is one of the oldest railway stations in India. The line from Tirunelveli to Sengatai was opened in 1903. The connection to Keelan, which was completed later, was the most important trade route to Travancore Province in British India. The city is connected to major cities in all four directions Madurai and Sankarankoval to the north, Nagarkoil to the south, Sengatai and Kolam to the west, and Tirushandar to the east. Tirunelveli is also connected to major Indian cities with daily service to Chennai, Coimbatore, Tiruchirappalli, Madurai, Salem, Kanyakumari, Mumbai, Guruvayur, Howrah, Delhi and Trivandrum. There is daily passenger service to Madurai, Tirushandur, Tiruchirappalli, Mayaladutharai and Kolam. The nearest airport to Tirunelveli is Tuticorin Airport (TCR) at Vagaikulam in Thuthukudi district, 22 kilometers (14 miles) east of the city, which offers daily flights to Chennai. The nearest international airports are Madurai International Airport, 150 kilometers (93 miles) away, and Tiruvananthapuram International Airport (TRV), about 130 kilometers (81 miles) away. Topic: Culture. Nelayapar Temple is a Hindu temple dedicated to Shiva in the form of Nelayapar. The deity is revered in the verses of Tavaram, a 7th century Saiva work by Sambandar. The temple was greatly expanded during the 16th century Nayak period and has a number of architectural attractions, including musical pillars. The temple has several festivals, the foremost an annual festival when the temple chariot is brought around the streets near the temple. It is one of the Pancha Sabai temples, the five royal courts of Nataraja the dancing form of Shiva, where he performed a cosmic dance. The Nataraja shrine in the temple represents copper, and features many copper sculptures. Tirunelveli has its fair share of temples, dating back to ancient times. 
It also prides itself as being the site where the Nelayapar temple is Lokatetiranelveli is also known for halwa, a sweet made of wheat, sugar and ghee. It originated during the mid-1800s at Lakshmi Vilas stores, which still exist. The art of sweet making spread to other parts of Tamil Nadu, such as Nagarkoil, Shrivaliputhar and Thuthakudi. Tirunelveli Halwa was popularized by Iratakadai Halwa, a shop opened in 1900 which sells the sweets only during twilight. Tirunelveli has a number of cinemas which predominantly play Tamil movies. It is among the 40 cities in India with FM radio stations. Tirunelveli's stations are Tirunelveli Vinoli Nilayam All India Radio, from the Government of India, Surian FM operated by Sun Network on 93.5 MHz and Hello FM operated by the Malai Malar Group on 106.4 MHz. A number of state and national level sports events are sponsored in Tirunelveli annually. The VOC grounds in Central and the Anna Stadium on St Thomas Road are popular venues in the city, and some events are held at scholastic sports facilities. As in India generally, the most popular sport is cricket. Also popular are football, volleyball, swimming and hockey, played on facilities provided by the Tirunelveli Division of the Sports Development Authority of Tamil Nadu. The Government Exhibition, an annual event at Exhibition Grounds, attracts thousands of visitors from in and around Tirunelveli. The District Science Centre, Tirunelveli is in the centre of the city. Near the city are regional tourist attractions such as the Manamuthur and Papanasam Dams, the Ariakulam and Kunthakulam Bird Sanctuaries, Manjalai and Upper Kodaiyar. Education During the 1790s, Tamil Christians established a number of schools in Tirunelveli. The missionary educational system included primary and boarding schools, seminaries, industrial schools, orphanages and colleges. The first boarding school for girls was opened in 1821, but its efforts were hampered by the emphasis on Christian education. Thomas Monroe CE of the British East India Company established a two-tier school system, district schools, teaching law, and subdistrict schools teaching vernacular languages in the Madras Presidency. Tirunelveli had four sub-district schools, two teaching Tamil and one each for Telugu and Persian. Tirunelveli city has 80 schools, 29 higher secondary schools, 12 high schools, 22 middle schools and 17 primary schools. The city corporation operates 33 of these schools. The city has eight arts and science colleges and six professional colleges. The Manonmanium Sundaranar University is named for poet Manonmanium Sundaranar, who wrote Tamil Thai Vajthu, the state anthem. Most Christian schools and colleges in the city are located in the Palayamkottai area. Anna University of Technology Tirunelveli was established in 2007, offering a variety of engineering and technology courses for undergraduate and graduate students. Tirunelveli Medical College, Veterinary College and Research Institution and the Government College of Engineering, Tirunelveli are professional colleges operated by the government of Tamil Nadu. The Jesuit Street Xavier's College, and St. John's College operated by the Church of South India Diocese, MDT Hindu College, Sadakathala Appa College and Sarah Tucker College are notable arts colleges. The Indian Institute of Geomagnetism IIG operates a regional unit, the Equatorial Geophysical Research Laboratory, conducting research in geomagnetism and atmospheric and space sciences. The city has a district science center, a satellite unit of Visvesvaraya Industrial and Technological Museum, Bangalore, with permanent exhibitions, science shows, interactive self-guided tours, a mini planetarium and sky observation. Tirunelveli and the district have a high rate of child labor. The drop in female school attendance between ages 15 and 19 is almost four times greater than that in the rest of Tamil Nadu. Topic. Utilities Electric service to Tirunelveli is regulated and distributed by the Tamil Nadu Electricity Board The city is headquarters for the Tirunelveli region of the four division TNEB and, with its suburbs, forms the Tirunelveli Electricity Distribution Circle. A chief distribution engineer is stationed at regional headquarters. 
Water supply is provided by the Tirunelveli City Corporation from the Tamirabarani River. Throughout the city, about 100 metric tons of solid waste are collected from the city daily in door to door collection. Source segregation and disposal is performed by the Sanitary Department of the Tirunelveli Municipal Corporation. The underground drainage system was constituted in 1998, covering 22% of the corporation area. The remaining system for disposal of sewage is through septic tanks and public conveniences. The corporation maintains a total of 184.8 kilometers, 114.8 miles of stormwater drains, 27% of the total road length. The clinics operated by the corporation provide primary health care to the urban poor through family welfare and immunization programs. In addition, there are private hospitals and clinics providing health care to citizens. Tirunelveli is part of the Tirunelveli Telecom District of Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited, BSNL, India's state owned telecom and internet services provider. Both Global System for Mobile Communications GSM and Code Division Multiple Access CDMA mobile services are available. In addition to telecommunications, BSNL also provides broadband internet service. Tirunelveli is one of a few cities in India where BSNL's Caller Line Identification based internet service, Net1, is available. The city has a Passport Siva Kendra, a public-private sector collaboration, which accepts passport applications from the Tirunelveli region for the passport office in Madurai. <laughs> Notes <laughs>